which, which you know, for those of us with women in our lives, it's mostly true. <laughs> she's, um, when I say consigliere, she's, you know, similar to the relationship I have with my wife. I can, I'll, I'll make the final call, the final decision, but I sure want to run it by her before I do that because she sees some things from afar. She sees the big picture and sees who may be a coming and sees where there might be a pitfall, possible pratfall down the line. She'll, she's got a really good view on that. I do as well, but she'll remind me of things. Rosalind will remind me of things. Well, look out for this and look out for this and look out for this without sentiment. And she's a baller, you know? Um, and she's running her own business down here in, in the garage. And so, um, you know, our relationship is this, is it's a pretty rock and roll relationship. And um, yeah, she's, the la she's my last person I go to to check in with. And she's my confidant. If there's anybody I can really 100% trust, it's her. And then after that, it'd be Ray. But if there's anyone that I 100% put my trust in, it's actually the keenest cat of them all, which is Rosalind. I'm mainly taking Guy's lead. You know, if you know Guy well enough, yeah, he loves directing films, but not as much as he likes talking about food and fashion. Or food and clothing, excuse me, Guy. Not fashion, clothing. Um, no, his eye for detail and his specific um, likes and dislikes when it comes to clothing and fashion are very defined. Um, and I've taken his lead because he's got some great ideas and he's got great style. So part of this is, is you know, Michael, I'm wearing a lot of what Guy's style is and would be. And I'm happy to be wearing it because I'm really not, wasn't as interested in it before I got here, but now I've become keenly interested in it. My wife's getting quite a giggle about me and like, you're starting, what are you starting? You're really at home now, starting to just go out, go to dinner, you're wearing that, yeah. She goes, oh geez, you're gonna be hell when we get back home, aren't you? I said, yeah, I am. I think it's fun, I think it's, the, for me, I think it's the long joke. You're gonna have some one-liners in this where you're gonna be like, whoa, rewind that, man. What did he just say? What a wicked way to undress somebody verbally, you know? What an original way to put someone in their place. But at the same time, you have the long joke, which for me is the juxtaposition. We've got all these suits and tough guys and aristocrats and things and such and this and we're going on a shoot. So, but we are what? We're selling weed, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, it's very juvenile. And it, but yet it's a very legitimate business being run by adults who are very smart and there are heavy duty consequences in it. It's not, it's not your, it's not your at the corner of 11th and 12th, 11th street stealing some weed movie.